In this tutorial, I am going to go over Device Explorer. You use this when you've shot your media video files onto a digital card. You could go into your folder, copy and paste the files onto your desktop, and that is normally what I've done. But if you are shooting, um, let's say a play, a musical, anything really, a presentation, anything that's going to be over like let's say 30 minutes 40 minutes where your digital files are automatically being broke up within your card so you use device explorer it's genius so you go in to device explorer and right here if I was to look at it I wouldn't see it so you always when you can't find something go under view and then just check it or if something disappears like your video preview sometimes you'll be looking around just go in here select it unselected and then it you know look for the difference and sometimes maybe you can only see these little handlebars meaning that maybe you you know it was off the screen but go under view device explorer here's the keyboard shortcut And now here we are. Oh, wait, you know, I don't see my files. I have my card already in there, and you can see that there is a device. You just activate the device, and you can see I have two clips. Well, I already know that I actually have four clips because I've looked at them via the import media. You go into here, I've already gone in there, and here are my four clips. So I can see that it's already merged it and it's telling me a lot of information that I think is just amazing. So device properties is an important thing you need to tell it where to go. And let's say you're going to an external hard drive um, and now you don't have that hard drive connected. If you were to do this, it's not going to work because you have it telling it you're going to the wrong location. So change your location here. Click on your clips and say import selected clips and then this is going to take a little snip so we'll be back. So once that's done you just bring it on down and there you go. So you may think oh that's not very impressive but when you shoot, let's say a four hour event like I did, I actually did a tutorial on it, and you can see how the card splits up the video files or the camera is splitting up the video files to fit on the card. So using Device Explorer, here you go. You could sync and you can edit so much faster and I just look back and think about a ton of time I wasted but that's in the past. So anyhow moving forward thanks for joining me and if you have some comments I'd love to hear them. Otherwise if you'd like to subscribe I would love that too. So thanks a lot.